So I'm out riding Hank today. My buddy Fang cruising the trails off by myself. A little bit cold for most people to want to ride a little bit. I'm in that 30, 30 degree range. I don't, I don't like to ride when it's down there below freezing. Especially in the south. You go up to Colorado or something, I think 32 degrees is a heat wave right now. It's all where you're from. Of course, it's a different kind of cold. We got that all that moisture in the air and everything, so it does seem colder than when we're up there. Like when I'm riding around, I can nearly ride in a, just a shirt in 32 degrees in Colorado in the mountains and not notice it down here. It's, you get in your bones a little bit, but if I ride regardless, it don't matter. Whatever it is, that's what it is. Just put on more clothes. But anyways, <clears throat> so we got Hank here on consignment, nine years old. 15 hands tall. The things about Hank that stand out about him, as good as any mule out there, is he does like everybody. He does not meet a stranger. You would not need any time to adjust, get to know him. I'm sure after you ride him some, you know, he'll get where he rides better for you, but as far as meeting you, greeting you, he meets everybody that's come out there at the gate. He's standing there waiting, ready to go do something, be petted on, fed, whatever it is you're up for. He's wanting to know what's going on. He likes people better than he likes the other mules. He'll walk away from the herd to go be with people every time. Uh, he, uh, for whatever reason, and you know, they always say dogs understand personalities and things like that, but Fang likes this mule better than any mule he's ever liked. Fang is generally um, just nonchalant with them. Like he don't bother them, but he just don't pay much attention to them. But this one, he always wants to get up and give him hugs and lick him, and get on his nose. Um, the mule's not as, he's confused by it. He hasn't pawed it, Fang, or nothing like that. He just doesn't understand why Fang wants to give him kisses. I don't either, because he ain't never done it to any other mule. Um, but he does it to this one each and every time. And he's just got around this mule. I don't know if it's because they're kind of a similar color, or I have no idea why, but the mule is getting more and more tolerant, and Fang is getting more and more uh, where it's his buddy. So he just took off to keep us safe from deer. You know, he just, you know, I'm confident I'll never be attacked by a deer or a squirrel with Fang around. He's, he's done run it off, and here he comes back, letting me know he did a good job. Keep me safe. We safe now, buddy? Good deal. Thank you. He stays on the move the whole time. Keeps us keeps us clear out there. These vicious deer attacks. He run them about a hundred yards away from us. Come back. He never barks. Never says nothing. Just make sure that they don't eat us. Come on, buddy. You don't have to jump it if you don't want to. You can just walk it. Anyway, Hank goes wherever you want to go. He's been doing really good on all that. Doesn't care about the traffic. Doesn't care about the gunfire. Doesn't care about the rope when he side pass. He sits down on the couch. But again, his friendliness is his number one, number one thing. Number two thing is he's safe. When you're riding him, you never feel any hunchy in his back. Um, you never feel him tense up. You never feel his skin get tight. It doesn't matter if limbs slap him or saddle slides. Um, he is always relaxed. And he's just going. He's got a really nice canter on him. He's not lazy. He's not a deadhead, but he is relaxed. And uh, I think he's 100% safe. I believe you can crawl underneath him, lift up his tail, um, shoe him upside down, whatever you want to do. Um, he definitely is comfortable as any of you out, out there with people. He has no nervousness about being, if anything he'd be on the pushy side where he'll if you are petting him and you stop petting him he'll start petting you back with his head and rubbing on you and stuff he absolutely loves attention and uh, and he's not doing it for treats either that's irrelevant to him he uh, he is doing it for the attention he likes to be rubbed on likes his ears messed with likes his face but loves his forehead to be harder you rub his forehead the better he likes it so if safety calmness friendliness is high on your list. Plus, he's a gorgeous mule now. He's a downfall gray. 
but if, if friendliness and nice and safe and you know that it's not going to run off with you um, it's not going to buck you it's not going to kick you it's not going to hurt you those are things with that he's as good as any of them out there about that he's not going to spook from i doubt he'll spook from anything but you can shoot off of him you can rope off of him whatever you want to do he's been part of a rodeo act a little bit and like I said, when you sit down on something, sit down on a beanbag or couch or whatever, he'll do that for you. Loads up like a dream. He's just a nice, honest mule, and he's pretty. So, like I said, when you go out there to catch him, he's waiting at the gate. Lead him over to wherever you're going to put your saddle on. Throw your saddle on there. Cinch it up. Step on. Take off. There is, you know, there's no need to warm him up. There's no need to for nothing. You just hit your cinch and foot and stirrup ass and saddle and go and uh, he'll be ready to take off by himself and he'll he'll walk right by the whole herd you know 30 something mules standing out there walk right by him and not care a lick just ready to go so you gotta like that so anyway so this is Hank I know you're just seeing his ears but as the videos progress and I get some people come out maybe we get a half half ass sunny day Get some people to ride and we'll get some videos from the side. But right now my fingers are absolutely froze in the time that it took me to shoot this video. And I'm losing feeling in two of them. And uh, from some old frostbite episodes. So I want to shut her down. Warm my hand up with a glove.